Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. The US 30 there is actually um, uh, coming off a little bit there on Friday. It's uh, bouncing a little bit higher this morning, but not by much. Uh, it's uh, mainly the, uh, the German market that's doing, the German market and the Asian markets this morning that are doing well after there's a rate cut over in China. Um, not a huge amount of technical buying in the back of that, but it was seen to be uh, adding a, a little bit of a stimulus aspect to, uh, to to those markets, and obviously uh, Germany's got quite a big um, connection to um, to China. The same with um, with the Aussie 200 and the Aussie dollar as a proxy as well. So those markets doing um, a little bit better this morning. Most of the markets showing a little little bit of signs of uh, of exhaustion after trading near all time highs uh, at the end of last week. So next potential support on US 30 is 18,111. So moving on to the UK 100, um, still stuck in this kind of um, potential ascending triangle formation, almost at the bottom end of that range. Been very volatile to start off the session this morning on the intraday charts. Uh, I want to get above um, 69, 64 again. Um, I actually started that little bit higher, but then immediately uh, moved that a little bit lower. So that spike first thing in the morning and then then a drift lower. So we're now looking at 6906.8 as being the next potential support right there. And then if we have a look at Japan 225, um, kind of a doji formation that we've seen right here. It was a, a, a fair amount higher. This is obviously about 15 year highs now that we're getting on the Japan 225. We're still looking at 2868 as being the next potential support level. And that is from quite some time ago as well. If we do begin to see drift in the Japanese markets, we are looking at 18,648, uh, but we have seen a lot of US dollar strength, which we'll have a look at when we look at dollar yen. It's not just a dollar yen thing. Uh, when we look at your dollar and cable, you'll see that the uh, uh, the dollar is surging across the board. I think the dollar index is actually at 11 year highs at the moment. So we're finally breaking away from this uh, 119 level that we've been stuck around for, it seems like forever to be fair. Uh, maybe we might even get a chance to, uh, to to retest this 120 spot 47 level at some point soon. Longer term potential resistance remains at 101 spot 87. So moving on to West Texas crude, um, seems to be just kind of jumping around this uh, $48 level um, all of last week again today um, as ever longer term potential for support 43 spot 29 potential resistance 5485 um, but it looks like we actually need some sort of macro event here to help break it one direction or the other on the intraday charts it is showing that it's down almost three quarters of a, of a percent obviously didn't really look that much on that tiny little uh, date uh, on that daily interval right there but um, it's uh, pretty much sideways moving even on the intraday chart as it has been for the last couple of sessions there as well so not too much to report on West Texas crude obviously if you wait until Wednesday you've got crude all Wednesday uh, that might be a catalyst for that but you do have non-farm payrolls this Friday and of course you've got the ECB uh, stimulus meeting on Thursday as well we'll talk about that in a second so gold uh, interestingly, the dollar is advancing against the others. There's big questions about when this next uh, big interest rate announcement is going to be. Uh, but gold is spiking a little bit higher, as even though the GDP figures from Thursday were actually okay, um, I think people's mindset is that the GDP um, expansion is actually decelerating. So people are seeing that as an excuse to buy gold. We're trading above uh, 2018. The actual support level, is, the potential resistance level, is 2018. We're currently trading at 20 at 1219, uh, but we do have death cross and moving averages. But then the slow stochastic and the MACD are both showing bullish crossovers. So depending on the length of the day's candle by the time it finishes um, as, as trading day, if that's a long legged -like candle, then I think traders will take that as a signal of an unwillingness to move on higher at this current stage. But if we end up closing close to the top end of this range, um, that that paints a slightly different picture. There's not a huge amount of uh, US data due today, apart from you've got um, PMI at two o'clock. Uh, it's mainly European and UK, German data, lots of PMI data today. Uh, and we've already had some uh, some decent uh, Chinese PMI data to take into consideration. So moving on to Euro dollar, um, uh, a confident break of that uh, symmetrical triangle formation, one spot 11 is the next potential support level. Uh, obviously just waiting for more details about Greece to come through. Um, these European PMI data figures might add extra weight credence to try and uh, push your dollar one direction or the other. And if we look at cable, 
cables actually on the wrong side of potential support right now. One spot 54.24. Uh, we're getting quite close to that 55 period SMA. Almost got a crossover in the MACD. And we do have a, a break of that 80% level in the slow stochastic. So from a technical perspective, uh, and it also looks like if we have a look at the drawing tools right here as well, um, it's not. Uh, it has broken through a potential trend line right here. Uh, so one spot 51.85 would be that next potential support should be break below the 55 period SMA as well. So economic data wise, we've already covered a lot of what's happening today. We fast forward on to Tuesday. We've got uh, German retail sales, um, domestic auto industry sales today. It's not a huge amount happening tomorrow. Wednesday got more more PMI uh, date releases, retail sales for the eurozone. Um, ADP, ADP private payrolls and of course you've got your crude oil inventories and on Thursday you do have uh, an e, a, a pretty important ECB meeting as well so any euro dollar traders out there will want to be aware of that one so keep your eye on the chart form as ever for uh, more trade setups from our global analyst team make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next